welcome to my 13th part of my Gary's Mod Lowest tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over the net library and net messages. So at the top we have a display message and basically what we want to do is get this display message to update for every single client whenever a specific event on the server happens. Um, so to begin, just to show you the setup that I have here, I have a shared uh, variable called my add-on underscore display message and sh underscore my add-on dot Lua. If I go ahead and change this to um, hello there and I save it, you can see that it says hello there. It's fantastic, it works. If I go ahead and set that back, you can see it returns to default. On the client, if I go ahead and update this value and I just say um, hi there and I save it, you now see it says hi there. However, if I go ahead on the server and I say um, what's up, you can now see it still says hi there. Now the reason this is happening is because the client only knows about this value because it was basically, it was specified on the client here saying that it's going to be set to hi there. The client doesn't know about anything that's happening on the server. And since it doesn't know about anything that's happening on the server, the server needs to communicate with the client and let it know saying, hey, we just updated this variable I want you to replace the value that you have on your computer with the value that I'm about to send you. So to accomplish this, what we want to do is use the net library. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and undo what I did here. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. So to begin, what we're going to want to do is use util.addNetworkString. Basically, this will cache um, our string here so we can go ahead and use net.start with this uh, identifier for the net message. So to begin, at the top of our uh, server side file, we're gonna say util.add network string. And then this will be our identifier for this network string. And we'll say display message underscore update. So now we've set this uh, network string aside. Now we can actually call it and start some communication. So whenever a player spawns in, what I wanna do is basically say that this player spawned in. So again, what I'm gonna do for any net message, you're gonna say net.start. Then in here, you're gonna put basically the identifier uh, that you set aside previously. In this case, it will be display message underscore update. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna either do net.send, which will send it to a specific player. In this case, we could say net.send POI, and this will send this net message to that player that spawned in. But we wanna send it to every single player, so to do that, we can simply do net.broadcast. So if I go ahead and save this now, whenever a player spawns in, it's gonna send out a net message to every single player saying, um, notifying that this event was called. However, we're not really doing anything with it. So to actually do something with it on the client, what you wanna do is you wanna say net.receive. And then whenever you do net.receive, you wanna basically um, put in the identifier of the net message that you're waiting for. This is kind of like a listener. It's waiting for the server to send a net message with this identifier. Then when it receives that, it's gonna have a callback. So this is the second argument. We're basically passing in a function that we're gonna call whenever this net message is received. So in here, now what I can do is I can actually update this value um, and say, uh, I don't know, um, the net message was called. So I'll say my add-on underscore display message equals uh, the net message was executed, okay? So now we know that this will happen whenever a player spawns in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in a bot to my server. Now you can see the net message was executed at the top. That's perfect. But we're still kind of in um, the same issue that we had before where this value was updated on the client, but it wasn't updated on the server just in case we ever want to print it out and have them in sync. So to actually get them in sync, what we need to do is send some data. So I'm going to go ahead and make a function up here. And I'm going to make it do this. I'm going to say local function uh, set display message. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to some text and then we're gonna hit end. And then what we'll do is with this text that we're passing into this function, uh, we're going to set our display message to that text. So now what I'm gonna do is on player spawn, I'm gonna say set display message and we'll say a player spawned in. Then what I wanna do is actually network this. So to do that, we can do uh, net.write and we can write either um, a string, an integer, data, color, boolean, angle, normal, table, type, unassigned integer, vector. In this case, we're going to be working with a string. 
So we're going to do net dot write string. So you can see here, um, whenever we're doing net dot start and net dot broadcast, in between there, we're going to do net dot write string. So right here, we'll say net dot write string, and I could say hello. And whenever this gets sent out to the client, it's going to have some data with it, and the data is going to be this little string here that says hello. But in this case, we want to send that display message. So we're going to say my add on underscore display message. Okay. So now, whenever a player spawns in, if I spawn in another one, now see that it didn't work. Why did it not work? My add on display message equals text. Set display message. Oh, the reason why it didn't work is because we wrote it, but we didn't actually read it. So whenever you write data and you're going to be receiving it on the client, you basically need to read it in the same way that you, you sent it. So if you go ahead and send a string first, that string is going to be received first. So I'm going to say local new message equals net dot read string. Okay. So basically whenever we call set display a uh, message, it's going to pass in some text. And so this is updating this variable with that text, which just so happens to be a player spawned in. And then we're going to call this net message and then we're going to write the string, which we updated before. So in this case, it'll be a player spawned in and then we're going to broadcast it. So since we're writing a string, we need to read a string. So on the client, we'll say local new message equals net dot rate string. And then what we can say is instead of my add on equals display, so display message equals the net message was executed, we'll say new message. Hopefully this will work now. So if I spawn in a bot, you see a player spawned in. Perfect. Nowhere on the client did we specify that the text is going to say a player spawned in. We did it on the server, and thanks to networking, we were able to accomplish this. But now I want to kind of make this a little bit uh, more. Um, I don't know, make more use of the set display function. So instead of calling net.start in here, we're actually just going to call it right here. So now I could go ahead and actually just say set display message. Um, and then I can say, uh, hello there. What's up? And hopefully now it'll say hello there. The, what's up? And the reason is we can now set this value from the server. Thanks to networking. So in here, what I'm going to do, Whenever a player spawns in, I'm actually going to say uh, POI name, the player that spawned in, just spawned in. And then whenever a player disconnects, I'll say set display message. And then we'll do POI name dot, 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 has disconnected. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in another bot. You can actually see bot05 just spawned in. Cool. Now I'm going to do ULX kick. Uh, bot05, hopefully we don't get any errors. And we didn't. Bot05 has disconnected. Now that's perfect. And you'll notice that I have a player initial spawn hook here. There's one problem that we need to keep in mind. So let's say the server is up right now. And we have bot05 has disconnected. And that is the current text that is displayed on the screen. But if a player connects to the server and spawns in, they will actually not see the same thing. And the reason is because this was updated the display message was updated while the, the client didn't exist at that time so what we need to do is whenever a client spawns in um, we can do we can actually update the display message for them um, to the current value of what it's supposed to be so they can stay in sync because they'll be desynced while all the other clients are synced um, so what we'll do is we'll say set display message and then in this case instead of setting it to anything else we'll just set it to the current value of my add-on display message so if a player was responded now, um, oh, and, and actually we need to sort of broadcast it because we don't really want to broadcast it again. We might want to do this a little bit differently. Um, and instead of doing our default function, we'll just do net.start display message underscore update, and then we'll do net.write string, and then we'll write the, the current value, and then we'll send it to this specific client only. That way we don't have to call broadcast. That's why I didn't use this function because this will automatically send it to every single client. But in this case, we just want to send it to that specific client so we don't waste resources. Um, so now if I go ahead and save it, there's not going to be really much of a difference. But if I was to reconnect, um, that value would um, remain the same. So that is how you send data from the server to the client. Um, real quick, I just want to show you how I would send some information from the client to the server. So down here, I have a function uh, or sorry, a hook that basically notifies or sorry, doesn't notify. It opens up the scoreboard. 
this will toggle our scoreboard. I just want to let the server know that this player has opened up their scoreboard. So to do that, what I can say is util.add network string, and we'll say scoreboard underscore open. And then, same thing, whenever we call scoreboard show, we'll do netout start, and then we're going to do scoreboard underscore open. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say net.send to server. So before, whenever you're on the server, you would send it to a specific client by doing net.send, or you would send it to every single client by doing net.broadcast. But since we're on the client and we want to communicate to the server, we're just going to do net.send to server. So now, if I go ahead and save this, just open up the scoreboard, it's basically calling that uh, the, the net.start and sending it to the server. But it's, again, it's sending really nothing, and there's no listener on the server. So this time, Instead of writing the net.receive like we did up here on the client for whenever we received a message from the server, we're going to do the same thing on the server side. So we'll say net.receive, and we'll say scoreboard underscore opened, and then we'll do function. But keep in mind there are two arguments in this function. The length that it took for the um, net message to basically be received, I'm pretty sure that's what that argument is. I, don't I haven't used it. Second argument is the player that sent the net message. So you'll never have to do net.write entity and, like, for example, write the local player that sent the net message. Uh, because automatically you'll have the player that sent the message right here. So what we'll do is we'll say, um, huh, what would be really neat uh, is actually we can now say uh, for every client that this person just opened up their scoreboard. So what we'll say is set display message, and then this will update for every single player. We'll say POI name um, has opened the scoreboard, and then we'll go ahead and save that. So now if I go in game, um, also notice that I saved the files both on the client and the server. So it went ahead and reset the values to the default. If I go ahead and press the tab, you now see csi.dan has opened the scoreboard. That is perfect. But also something to keep in mind is this value can actually, not this value, this net message can be called from the client um, no matter what, even if they don't actually open up the scoreboard. Just to show you that, um, I'm going to update it to that. And I'm going to go ahead and enable CSLua. Hopefully that'll work. Now if I do something like this, lu underscore run CL, and let's say the client, for whatever reason, decided to go ahead and uh, steal our client side files so they could go ahead and look at them. So they can go ahead and actually call this code right here, and we can just say lu underscore run CL, and actually let's just take another look at that um, display message so we know for sure that it just has spawned in. So if I do lu underscore run underscore CL, and then we'll do net.start, and we'll start that net message, and then we'll do net.write to server. Uh, no, it's not right to server. Excuse me. Send to server. I go ahead and save that. You can now set. You now see that. So CSI.dan has opened the scoreboard, and unfortunately, there's not a lot that we can do about that since the scoreboard is dependent on, or sorry, it's open and controlled on the client. Specifically, what we could do is perhaps on the server side check to see if they push tab, for example, if tab is going to be the button that is always pressed for the scoreboard. But it, that is something to keep in mind, and I'm actually going to go in more detail about exploiting net messages and how to um, basically patch that up and figure out where uh, potential uh, problems could be within your server. So that is a quick introduction to net messages. We'll go ahead and be using this more in future add-ons, so we'll get into more advanced methods of this later. But this is a basic introduction. I hope you guys understood what was going on. If you have any questions, please comment down below. It's a little bit of a complicated subject. As always, like and subscribe and take care, guys.